do. Uh, second is the highest I've ever finished. National runner-up is a is a big deal against a talented guy. Uh, he's a tremendous competitor. I like. There's no one else in the field I would have rather lost to. I guess. I don't want to lose anyone, but um. Yeah, no, it was a fun race. I I executed my plan. I got out front and stayed out of trouble. Um, I made it a two horse race. And that's exactly what I wanted. And and the really positive part is I had a little effort to make him. I just didn't quite pull the trigger to quite uh, catch on fast enough that last back stretch. But uh, I felt myself coming on him, and I I really felt like that's a race I could win on another day. And it's encouraging for the outdoor season. I have a little bit of an extra gear at the end this year. I just kind of got to practice it a little more. Um, every single race I've run this season, no one's really been within a couple of feet, a couple seconds of me. So it's tough coming from an environment like that indoors, which is so focused on just hitting times. And then uh, have that translate to championship racing. And that feeling was really uncomfortable. And I haven't been in a race with people for a long time. So that's the beauty of the outdoor season, so you advance by racing. And uh, that's just one of those little aspects, one of those little technical aspects that I can clean up a little bit. But um, as far as the fitness is there, I'm ready to run fast. And I'm really happy with how this indoor season is going. It's the best indoor season I've ever had. I'm healthy, I've got through it, uh, training well, and really fit. So I'm excited to see what outdoors goes. Seems like it's been the most consistent season. And also, I don't know, there was more, it seemed like there was more of a all business mentality. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I'm coming off this season. I'm really hoping uh, to continue doing this sport for a long time. And uh, I know this is the setup season. And to be perfectly honest, the team environment at Penn State with, uh, with all the guys is just incredible. And every day when I come to practice, I work not only for them, I have a team that I'm really excited to do big things for, but I work with them and compete with them. And, so it's a really magical environment we have this year with the team. And I couldn't ask for a better training group and a better group of guys to, to spend with on a day to day basis. Did you think at the end there you might catch him? Yes. Um, he went by and I, and I knew I had a little left and I planned to save it for back stretch. And I just didn't quite like, I went to pull the trigger and I was like, there was a little bit of a delay and I did, it didn't quite catch until uh, about halfway down the back stretch. And, but uh, it, it's just a, a lot of my form, a lot of my uh, just gear changing. We haven't really done a lot of that, and I think we'll start to incorporate a little bit. Uh, you think you've only run 1 800 all year before this race? Yeah, absolutely. You think maybe if you'd done a couple more, you would have? Um, potentially. I think there's a big part of uh, running those 600s. I was good on recent training for getting through 600 and feeling comfortable. Um, I don't know, maybe. I, I like. It's kind of hard to come by a good race on a week-to-week -week basis, especially in the indoor season when a lot of the pros aren't racing. And uh, I only see Elijah and guys like this at these meets, so um, I think getting into the outdoor meets once the season starts getting rolling and getting in the race, like not sack, playing in all the pros, and stuff like that will be good for me. But uh, there's been times where I have kind of felt like I've had this winner nothing mentality, and I, I guess I was just proud that I was able to kind of like fight through it. and. Hold on for a second. Uh, and a big aspect of that again is the team points that I score for the guys that I work with every day. Um, Speaking of the team, was there any thought of you running the BMR yesterday? There was talk of it. Um, I think the plan going in was kind of to keep me fresh for the 800. Uh, and we have horses to run it with it. Uh, I, I think Zavon on a good day with people to run with is, is a phenomenal life for us. So. Um, Robbie was doubling back, that was really all the DMR was, they didn't need me. It's just tough not being the 